not just right this week. The Kansas City Royals, in spring training this year, had one of those in-service meetings where they get their people together and they have a conversation with them. They bring in special speakers. What would you talk to a baseball team at in a special training to walk them through what they need to hear and think and know? You think for a moment what they're talking to you about in your workplaces when they have special training. The Kansas City Royals, just this last week, their training in Surprise, Arizona was on pornography to their team. And this is what the article I read said. It was specifically focused on how porn can impact a consumer's overall well-being, which in turn can affect productivity, work performance, and personal image. Last year, the state of South Dakota proclaimed pornography to be a major health emergency, stating that it is a lessening desire in young persons to marry, dissatisfaction in marriage, and infidelity. And you know the stats. The stats are so terrible on this subject that it is a subject that is affecting our community big time. So what do you do? You see, what I, I, I'm not interested in doing in this room today is putting us in a situation where you walk out of here feeling condemned, beat up. I, I'd love for you today to walk out of here with your eyes on the one who came to release you from sin. The one who we're going to celebrate next Sunday, Sunday had victory over the grave, over death, over sin. Who came to give you freedom from that sin so you no longer had to carry it around. I guarantee you, when, when they talked to the baseball players about this, and said, don't do it, don't do it. They all smirked on their way back to the locker room because there is no solution in that kind of a moment. We understand here, this is the place we need to talk about it because we understand that sin is the very thing that Jesus came to release us from. And we're sitting here today going, release me, Lord Jesus. And whether that sin is on the trajectory of impure thoughts or whether that sin has pr produced actually physically getting in a car and driving somewhere and walking into a room to be with a forbidden person. It doesn't matter where you're at in that trajectory or if your trajectory is just how you're treating your spouse on a daily basis that is just destroying your spouse. We want to talk about that. Today.